Good morning and welcome to the Australian Stock Reports online morning update for the 28th of November 2011. US markets capped off a disastrous week with another loss on Friday night amid growing pessimism over the ability of EU leaders to fix the region's debt crisis. The Dow and S&P suffered an almost 5% plunge for the week, which was the worst performance for those two indices in two months. Setting off the losses on Wall Street was another round of bad news from Europe. Belgium was the latest country to have its credit rating cut, which coincided with a poorly received bond auction in Italy. That came on top of Germany's own failed bond auction earlier in the week, which brought home to investors just how widespread the crisis has become. In saying that, there were some positive developments on the weekend, with reports suggesting the IMF is readying a 600 billion euro bailout package for Italy. That has fueled huge gains this morning on some of the commodity currencies, with the Aussie dollar gapping up one US cent. Defying the weakness in the US, European markets logged solid gains on Friday night, with Germany and France rising more than 1% each. However, the euro extended its declines against the US dollar following the latest problems in Italy and Belgium. The shared currency was down for a fourth straight week and is trading around its lowest levels against the greenback in 18 months. Commodities were mostly weaker, weighed down by the stronger US currency. However, oil bucked the negative trend amid persistent supply concerns in the Middle East. On Friday night, the SPY traded in a range before going on a roller coaster ride towards the end of the US session. After a sharp burst high, the index suffered a rapid descent before finding support around the key 4,000 level. Despite the softness on Wall Street, the Aussie market is on track for a positive start to the new trading week. SPY futures are currently pointing to a 15 point gain on the open. Get free access to our daily reports and recommendations now. Visit australianstockreport.com.au forward slash try.